Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, why not click the link below? We do thrift hauls all the time and fun DIY projects and you just, it just can't beat that. <laughs> we have a good time here on the channel. So click that link below and subscribe. This today is a haul video. So if you didn't see this wonderful art haul video from yesterday, it's an art heist. You got to go back and watch that. But this is part two. So this is everything else I got. I went to three different Goodwills and um, yeah, loaded my car. So uh, officially I went to get a uh, desk and I'll pop up a picture right here of what the desk looked like because I'm not taking it out of my car until the desk that's in my office right now gets finished. But this is the desk that I picked up and oh, it's a honey. It's a lady's writing desk and it's just so beautiful. I'm in love with it. I never want to let it go. And actually, when I when I got it in the car and I was looking at the back of it, there are four screw holes in the back of this thing. And I'm wondering if it wasn't a vanity. Anyone that has knowledge of this that might be able to go, yes, this was indeed a once a vanity. Um, I actually have a three paneled mirror in my garage right now that I picked up at a printing company that was going out of business. I mean, what are the odds that you're going to find a rando mirror at a printing company? Totally wasn't what I was expecting to find there. I found a lot of good stuff I wasn't expecting to find there. But anyway, it would kind of go with that. So if it was, it might become a vanity. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to do our thrift haul of all the really great stuff I picked up. I'm going to start with this because it's not mine anymore. My sister already claimed it. What's up, ficus? with vines in a really great pot. Um, she was asking me to look for greenery and I kind of figured that she would claim this and she did. I sent a picture and she was like, yep, I want it. So yay, ficus for Jenny. Ah, behind my head here, I got a globe bank. This was $2.99. Um, I don't have to check with countries on it to tell you when the globe bank is from. It's metal. And it's in really good condition. It's got a little plastic base on it. Got the cork in it. No money in it. That's unlucky. <laughs> anyway, it's just a cute little bank. Little globe bank. Globes do really well. That's why I bought this one. Um, uh, people like globes for some reason. And they like the vintage looking globes. I have a floor globe in my inventory right now but I don't have any desk globes so I've got this and now I've got this and I'll do a little travelly inspired vignette at some point point. and then he picked up an Edison bulb I checked it it was only $2.99 and Edison bulbs are kind of pricey and some of the lamps that the OG and I make um definitely require an Edison bulb to look really really cool so I picked it up that'll go in my stash of light bulbs and then moss balls <laughs> Faux moss balls, just bowl fillers. It's nice to have a little green pop here and there. Um, they had lemons at one and I was gonna get, it was a bag full of lemons, but they wanted too much money for them. I thought like 10 bucks was too much for an entire bag of lemons that I'm just gonna use as bowl fillers. I mean, these don't get sold. So this was $4.99, it says vase filler, little faux moss balls. They don't get sold. They usually get thrown in with whatever else I'm selling. So I'm not making any money on these. That's why I didn't want to pay $10. I paid $5.99 for that, but you know. This is a handmade bear made from little quilt fabric. So my grandma made me a bear exactly like this from an old coat that she had once. And we named him Hoover Buttons. And I think that's why I was so charmed by this one. Um, it's going to go in the booth. It was $3.99. I just found it really charming that somebody else's grandma made them a Hoover buttons, but they got rid of theirs and I'm never getting rid of mine. Mine is in my spare room right now, sitting in a rocking chair because uh, my grandma made them for me from her coat, from her old winter coat, and I'm keeping him. But this one is getting sold and he's cute. So we'll call him Hoover too. <laughs> Hoover Jr. Hoover Jr. can stay with me. 
Yes. Oh gosh, guys. I knew from the handle what this was. Look at it. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Oh my gosh. It says on the bottom, durability, Weatherby, Hanley, England, Royal Falcon Wear. $10. There's no chips. There's no cracks. She's just as lovely as the day she was manufactured. I don't know when that was, but I'm guessing it was a while ago. But look at the flowers. Oh, and they're blue. They're not pink. Do you know how hard that is to find? So blue and white, super popular. Very trendy. Always blue and white is, is well, blue is the in America, the most popular color. Y'all knew that, right? Number one color, blue. So normally you find these and they're in the pink flowers or the red flowers. Uh, very rarely do I, I won't, I don't want to say they're rare, but rarely do I find blue flowers. So I was excited to find the blue flowers, not because blue is my favorite color, but because it's everyone else's favorite color too. And I think it'll do well, but I got to do some research on this company. I have not had Hanley, Weatherby Hanley before. So I will, uh, I will do a little more research on that. Oh, and then this is Peach Lusterware. I believe this is, I will have to look it up, but I, I think it is, is it Fire King? Is this Fire King? Peach Lusterware. It's not embossed with um, Fire King on the bottom of it, which makes me wonder if this is a knockoff. So I'll have to do a little more research on this as well, but Lusterware and Peach. And then it's got the shell motif. So I always do a nautical motif at some point. So if it's a knockoff, it'll go in the booth as a nautical. Oh, and I just found this little angel charming. That's so cute. $3.99. So it'll end up in a little vignette, a little sweet vignette. It's just it's charming. It's charming. I don't have the lid for this because it's way over there and I can't get past the ficus. Um, but it's a tin. It doesn't have a barcode on it. So um, I think it's a reproduction still, even though it doesn't have the barcode on it. It says Sailor's Hope. Um, Michelin Zimmer McGill Tobacco. It's okay. It's in good condition. It's not in great condition. Um, the larger tins like this that are taller seem to sell better than the small flat tins. I don't know why. I don't know what you guys are storing in them. I don't want any tins. <laughs> Lampshade. So I make a ton of lamps with the OG and I liked this one because it was oval. So a lot of the ones I find are pagoda or squares or round and I very rarely find the ovals in good condition. $4.99, um, yellow and green tagged at $4.99. So if it had been a sale, I would have told them I wanted the sale price on whatever the green or yellow one was, but it wasn't. There was no sales today. Uh, but it's a good one. It's not stained and it's not damaged and it's a neutral color. So actually, I think I might put this on um, the clarinet that the OG made into a lamp. I think this will look really sweet on it. It's a good oval one. I also have a black oval one that I might use that one too. I don't know. We'll figure it out. This one I didn't get in my cart fast enough. Oh my gosh, this lantern is awesome. $6.99. Now I can get this lantern. Yep, it's the same lantern through my wholesale catalog and it's $100 for two. So there's this size and then a different size that comes with the set of two. And for wholesale prices, it would cost me $78 and some odd cents. And then it's supposed to retail at double that. Um, I know this is the same one and it didn't come with this light that's in it because it, it's a hand drilled hole in the bottom. So it's the same lantern and somebody drilled a hole in it and put a light kit in it and I don't care because it's a, you know, somebody will buy it as a lighted lantern. And then they put these rocks in to cover the fact that they, they stuck that in there. Hmm. Maybe I'll put a flame bulb in it. It'll look kind of cute with a flame bulb in it. This is just a regular chandelier bulb with a flame tip on it, but the flickering flame bulb may look actually cute in it. Um, but I know I can sell this without any of that garbage in there. <laughs> so if worse comes to worse and nobody wants the lamp, I'll take the lamp out. Got another bag. Oh, I forgot she wrapped something in it. Oh yeah, look at this. So I don't know. It's 24 karat gold. That's the only part I can read. It was $4.99. So it's trimmed in 24 karat gold. Who is the manufacturer? Made in Czechoslovakia, RGK. Hand painted 
14 karat gold. Why does it say 24K down here? Y'all, they don't know. And it's hand painted with, you know, little gold detailing on it. Again, it'll go in the, the rose booth this month. So the floral booth. It's just a cute little vase. I thought, I thought it was different, right? The shape's different. It's not like every other vase on the market. So I bought it. Very charming. Another charming. Um, this is a baby blanket. It's a yellow one and it's hand um, cross stitched. It's not hand quilted. It's quilted fabric that they just trimmed off and cross stitched. I think this would look cuter uh, as part of an actual quilt, like with a back on it, because you can see all the stitching back here. I know somebody who quilts. They could be watching. Maybe they'll want to put a back on it so that it's prettier. But I like it. I mean, it's just got the alphabet on it. And it's got little bluebirds, which would have totally sold it for me when Victoria was a baby. Because that was my theme for her nursery was bluebirds. And it's got a baby in a carriage. And then um, A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. And then there's a little box that I would assume you put the baby's name in. But there's no baby name in there. And then I get sad. Anyway, I'm going to clean it up and it'll go in the booth. Baby blankets do really well for me. And then this cute little birch bird. Look at him. So cute. Oh, if you weren't birch, I'd love you to death. But you, you make me snotty. Look at his face. So cute. Can I grab this? Um, anything girly like this to put necklaces on, things like that sells really, really well. Oh, somebody's glued you back together or what? I don't care. I'll re-glue you back together. But, um, you can pin in directly in this too. So it can hold necklaces and pins, things like that. It's just a cute little thing for somebody's vanity. I've sold, uh, quite a few of these actually. I had two smaller ones like this that I did in a little vignette and they both went and this is actually a nice sized one to hang necklaces on. You're dusty. Did have to clean it. I swear I'm a cleaning lady. I tell people that all the time my job is like cleaning. All the stuff has to be cleaned. So now I'm going to send weeks and you know what? There's a candle smell in here. So ugh, somebody had like, like a candle. Maybe that's what's sticky on that other art. I just thought this was a nice frame. With the green color and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything to it it was two dollars and 99 cents and I just like it I think it's very it'll go great in like a garden vignette with greens and all that good stuff speaking of garden vignette birdhouse oh the birdhouses that I've sold in the last I think I've been doing this now seven years part-time and full-time and I've sold so many freaking birdhouses, it ain't even funny. White, blue, you know, brown, just birdhouse after birdhouse after bird, rustic, modern, birdhouse, 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 birdhouse. Anyone need a birdhouse? Oh, I thought this was very sweet too. It's hand painted. It's got like a cloudy blue look to it. Oh, so sweet. Just a little trinket box. It was $3.99. And I am not the one that tried to peel this off. I do not know what the hallmark says. L. Hubie, nineteen eighty-three. And this is just a baskety basket, 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 basket. But I picked up a Snoopy. He's from Mexico, so I don't think he's actually an officially branded, licensed Charles Schultz Snoopy, since Schultz's signature is not on here. Just Mexico. It's a bank, supposedly, but look at that. Look at that hole in the bottom. And somebody cut a slit in the back of his head to try and make it a bank, but I don't know that that's officially a bank. And Snoopy was $5.99. I mean, you gotta love Snoopy if you're in Mexico and you gotta carry this sucker home because he's not light. Okay, so I bought this. <laughs> it says, I love bears. And bear hugs are free. It's not going to stay. I love bears and bear hugs are free. It's going to get a nice country update. Just a little shabby, chicy, white. Um, because totes sell. It is a bird something or other. 
see the bird. And it's like a little ladder thing. So I'm guessing you would hang linens on it. I don't even know what it's for. So, you know, utensils maybe? I don't know. If you guys could enlighten me, I appreciate it. I only got it because it was iron and it was bird and that seems to do really well in our booth. So I figured I could hang linens on it, like napkins and things like that. I've got a bunch of vintage damask napkins and, you know, little runners and stuff and I could hang it on there. So I figured if it doesn't sell, it's still a great display piece. You can even hang necklaces and stuff off of here. So I don't know what I'll do with it, but I mean, it'll go, it'll go in with a price tag, but if it doesn't sell, I'm not heartbroken because it's a good display piece to have. It's big. Plant stand. It's iron. It's large. And it's totally not my style, but uh, somebody else will love it. Plant stands do really well. You could use this on a porch or on a patio or even outside. It's that heavy. So it's not going to blow over. It's a nice sturdy piece. And uh, it's nice to get stuff for me to put on the... Uh, porch because I have porch space starting in June. Uh, so I have one month left before I need to start putting stuff outside. And then the last piece I got was this wonderful vintage um, hamper. I don't want to paint it. There's lots of nicks and lots of crannies and I don't want to paint it. So what I was thinking was I have those shutters that are in the exact same green. And I think if I did a vignette with this in the room that's going to have roses and um, pinks, things like that with the dark green that I could kind of sell it that way. And then if they decide they want to paint it, they can do it because I hate painting all these little holes and I don't want to do it. So um, I think that's going to be the plan for this is that it will go in the booth this month with those green shutters and then um, and the roses to see if it can kind of, the, the pink can blend away the fact that it's bright green. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That's everything I have for you today. And if you haven't yet gotten one of your Wall of You shirts, like, you know, like the one I'm wearing, Happy Junkin, um, click the links below. It supports me. It supports this channel. And I'm so grateful to everybody who has already purchased theirs. Hi to all my new subscribers. I am so glad you're here with me. We do this all the time. So if you haven't subscribed yet, click the link below because I'm going to go keep junking and going to do some DIY projects and you'll get to see it's a lot. There's a lot coming out. It's a lot. Thanks for watching everyone. Happy junking. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin' videos.